Hello to everybody again uh, from Tiverton Bead and Wool Shop and welcome to our regular podcast. Uh, this one is supposed to be all about nice things happening and very serene and very calm and very, you know, but uh, the weather yesterday changed to the hottest day of the year. Uh, the shop had the busiest day since lockdown uh, was uh, released and oh god and today is 1st of August by the time you are watching this video uh, there will be lots of things online and hopefully I will be serene and happy and everything ready for our celebrations uh, however so this video will be about things happening for the shop for the 10th birthday uh, new things new absolutely cute things which have arrived in the shop yeah and so I will be I will try to be very quick because in like 20 minutes I need to open the shop up and I already been interrupted by Posty uh, the first take was kind of you know as I said hello from Tiverton Bead and Wool Shop knock knock oh your parcel is here so more wool arrived anyway so as you gathered from what I have said now and I will stop fiddling with this, but I really can't understand how people can run with earplugs and they never fall out. I can't even stand still and it's falling out. Anyway, and my tripod has lost a leg, so if we lose camera as well, so that means everything is going down again. Anyway, so new yarns, 10th birthday. So this year uh, we have the shop's 10th birthday and I think we officially opened on the 1st of September. And I really wish on the 1st of September this year we can have a champagne reception here uh, with all sorts of things. But obviously it can happen. So uh, we have thought and thought or I have thought and thought and we have figured out what to do, hopefully. And uh, yeah, because the yarn is here. So a few weeks ago we received this email uh, which actually helped us a lot. And... Uh, it introduced a new pattern. Uh, it all will be about Rowan yarns and designers who work for Rowan. And one of the designers, Lisa Richardson, has kindly provided one of her really cool new patterns uh, for the month of August for free. And what we thought that we will make up kits for you. So we are talking about this beautiful wrap right the print is terrible because of course when I thought like oh on a Friday I will print it out so I have the picture in the shop but you're actually buying in a kit um, yeah it's always do you always find cartridges finished on Fridays yes so anyway so that's the project number one and the main project there is another one which you will have kits for is uh, a cowl called Kyle which uses the same kind of um, oh god I wish I would stop telling kind of these these this type of pattern and from what I can see on the pattern it's nearly both projects are from the same designer so it is based on the same principles so if you don't want to go for the wrap, for the big one, you can always go for the small cowl and the yarns for this. We haven't had them before in the shop, but I have ordered them. I always slightly, slightly lusted over it. It's not a budget knitting with these ones. It's a little bit of indulgence, but it's not indulgence of the scale. So what we have got for the kits is a Rowan Island blend and this gorgeous gorgeous squishy thing I'm standing up because I think I can reach everything but obviously not and now I have lost my glasses and I have never I will never be able to read your content it's 70% wool uh, 15% uh, no 19% 15% alpaca and 15% silk yes it is so it's 70 wool 15 alpaca 15% silk and it's double knitting but it has that kind of oh this color actually will show you better 
it has really nice twist and it has a nice that kind of silky not sheen because sheen is the wrong word to describe you know woolly yarn but it has that kind of silky quality and drape so I think officially there is more color schemes available but the color scheme I went for is this one and in a big kit you will have two balls of each color and the other one is for the pink people for the people who like pink so that's one and that's two but knowing that the best-selling colors in the shop are always the bluey greens for whatever reason I think maybe because I like it so uh, there's another type of yarn you can use for this project and at the moment I'm still talking about the wrap the other yarn which the re designer recommends is creative linen creative linen we have had in a shop and it's been reasonably good summer yarn as a seller and I have my crochet jumper jumper on the previous um, podcast you have seen the one with kind of yoke and that's all done in creative linen so and it's nice it's quite heavyweight but it's really lovely yarn so the color schemes for this one is on trend grays and yellow on this one you will have five skeins in a kit because I think it's a longer yarn for uh, everything I hope designer has calculated right of course it does and you will have five skeins in total of other color scheme which this which is for the bluey greeny people uh, this time not the pinky people bluey greeny people so I now my dilemma is I really like this but then again I really want to try this so at the moment I'm trying not to use or choose my color scheme I basically will end up possibly hopefully they will be selling well and I will end up using leftovers or not well I will be I think I would like to try it because I quite like the idea how she um, combines how she knits the two colors the color work because it's not uh, like a traditional one and I really like that idea so I would like to try and like I said for the smaller cowl version uh, you will have there will be cowl versions in the same color scheme and then you will have one ball of these beauties again three colors and I think I will make up them as well in the creative linen and there will be again one ball of each color the other thing is and um, how you can find where the kits are and how you can find patterns it's quite easy uh, the wrap pattern you can download yourself and below this video there is description and I will put a link to Lisa Richardson's Ravelry page where the pattern will be free from today which is 1st of August until 31st of August after that it will become chargeable and the kit you can go on our website all the kits you can go on our website and on the front page you should be able to see a category called 10th birthday when you click on that category there will be all the products which are kind of our special birthday products listed plus all the kits sold in August we will be giving money to charity and uh, before I start to explain what we will be doing for charity for the cowl the pattern uh, will come with the pattern uh, you can download free from our website it will be like a, a separate pattern for free or it will be included as a download in the kit the other things before we go to the charity the other things which will be included in your kit is right these little things and you think like what is it these things they are lovely lovely little tins for things to do 
you know, for your things you need to, you always lose. Like the third leg of my tripod for the mobile phone. I can keep it there and it will never get lost. It comes from British company, British designer. So, and I think the pictures are so, so cute. There is puffins in the jumpers and sheep in the jumpers. So it depends on the type of the kit you're buying. You will have the bigger tin, which opens like that. Or the smaller tins with the same design on the puffins or the sheep. But this one will open like that. So it's like a pocket box or pill box, but I think it's absolutely perfect for stitch markers. And those ones, you will get one of them as a little prezi when you buy your kit. Now then, the kits as well will come in this one, which is the large drawstring organza bag. So, that's about the kits. Like I say, all online, all the links I will put to the, I will put a link below as well for this 10th birthday category. Now then, and when you will read careful, when you open the category, I hope on the top there, there will be a description which will say that from all the products in that category, sold in August, we will be giving 10% to Devon Air Ambulance. And it took me some time to decide which charity to use because I find these days everything becomes so overused or politicized and I really don't want to go into all that because then if you do one then you oh well it, anyway Devon Air Ambulance is something which is well known in our area if you are somewhere else in the world possibly you have similar local charities available but Devon Air Ambulance is our local one <coughs> excuse me and I always believe charity starts at home. You have to support your neighbor, your local hospice, your local thing before uh, you blindly donate your money to a large organizations. That's my personal view. And there we're getting a bit kind of like, well, anyway. So yeah, so that's what we will be support. That's who we will be supporting. Again, I will put a link to their website down so if you are not familiar and you are watching somewhere else in the world which we actually do have some people around the world watching me would you believe it um you can actually have a look and what they do and who do they help and we really pray that nobody of us needs them it's one of those funny things we raise money for them and we hope that we don't need them but uh yeah so there will be a link to their website the other thing if we're touching on the international uh, customers, if you don't want to buy the kit, if you can't come in a shop, because there will be obviously things happening in the shop as well where we can raise money for the same charity, then you can go on our Facebook page. And I have opened for first time, so I really, I hope it works all very well. But it seems it's quite normal to use the Facebook fundraiser. And we have created fundraiser for Devon Air Ambulance. So we would welcome any donations, whatever size it is. If it's a couple pounds, just add to the total. And I would like with that, I hope that you will support the charity, this cause, as well as you've been supporting us over 10 years because it's been great. It's been, the time has run so fast that it's like unbelievable. When I actually think that it was 2010 when we got the shop, and I do remember when we signed the lease, it was like, mm, five, because we had five years first, and it was like, oh, mm, five years, it's a long, long time. God knows what will happen in five years. So anyway, yeah, so here we are, 10 years old. Thing is happening oh the other thing is the last thing and this one is unpaid promotion because i paid for it i haven't been paid for it i paid for it right from the same company we have available for you to buy 
Oh yeah, and of course the little tins, these little beauties, you can buy them on our website if you wish. If you don't want to buy the kit, you can buy these little things. I think comes Christmas, they will be like a gold dust because they are so, I'm sorry, I'm fiddling with it. They are so reasonably priced that it's really like, you know, if you have a crafty friend and you just need a little stocking filler, or even if it's not a crafty friend, a little stocking filler with little sheep in the jumpers or the puffins, like these little ones, retail at two pound. So there. But for 12 pounds, for 12 pounds, you can have this. A project bag. And to be honest, there's been some time uh, when I've been looking for project bags. It's another kind of little, you know, sometimes in the shop, you know, there's some products which you should have. But if you get when you get you get them, they just sit on the shelf and the knitting bags been one of those things. The first thing is I found very difficult. To find. An interesting, lovely knitting bag, because they all come in these kind of old lady colors, the pale blues and pinks, and they're very, very traditional. And I'm thinking like if I would go somewhere for holidays and I want to take my knitting on a train or in a bar, if you are lucky nowadays to get into that, but I would not be seen dead carrying that bag, honestly. Where this one is like, oh, look at this. Oh, look at them. And am I showing you two sheepy bags? Of course I do. And where is the puffins? I have picked two sheepy bags. And there's the puffins. Look at them. I would quite happily carry this bag with me to any bar, restaurant, train. Oh, and the other thing which I like with them, they are nicely lined. You can see it's like a knit stitch print. And now again, uh, yeah, and they are cotton. They have nice bolstering and they have a handle. So there's all sorts of ways of carrying it. And I'm really pleased and they're only 12 pounds for a bag. So there we go, advertising. Oh, another thing, and this one was nearly, I bought it for myself because I'm getting to the age when I need to have glasses and they have glass cases as well. And I'm thinking one of those, I think the glass cases are six pound and it's nice tin. Inside it has nice felted lining and that's it. And I think I better finish because I have somebody lurking in the window. So is it time to open the shop again? Yes, it is. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Look on the description below and join us for our celebrations. Watch our Facebook page, watch our Instagram and subscribe to the channel and thank you so much for the 10 years you have given us and i'll be hope for another 10. bye